Hi, I'm Nathan Birma, Educational Technologist at Calvin Theological Seminary. I work with teachers and students to support the use of technology in their teaching and learning. Today I want to show you Canvas, which is our online environment for distance learning. The technical term for Canvas is that it's a learning management system, although the truth is that only you can manage your own learning. Canvas is a smooth and user-friendly online environment that easily integrates multimedia and other resources, and we think it will support your learning well. It does take a little orientation to find your way around at first, so let's do that now. Let's take a look. When you log into Canvas, this is what you'll see. You'll have a recent activity area that shows you all the activity that's happened recently in all of your courses. This includes assignments, discussions and discussion comments, announcements, grades, other feedback, anything that's happened recently in any of your courses will be listed here and grouped by category. Over on the right, you have a menu for reminders, including what's coming up, assignments and key deadlines. This will fill out as those deadlines approach and recent feedback. You'll get listed here links to view your grades and other feedback from your professors on things that you have submitted. To enter a course, go to your Courses and Groups tab here at the top, hover over it and a list will appear, and click on the course you want to enter. And you are now in your area for your course. This includes a navigation menu for the course, a menu of reminders and deadlines, that is specific to this course and your course materials. Your modules are your basic units, your boxes, your containers for everything that you'll be doing in a particular week. For instance, the week one module here contains all your assignments, videos, course materials, a quiz if there is one, anything you need to go through the course for that week and you can engage each of these materials in sequence. So when you click on the first one, you'll get a link to the next item in that module, and you can go through the module that way. To get back to the module, to view the overall sequence, you can click here, see full course sequence, and you'll go back to this view. So go through each of these items in sequence to complete what you need to do for the week. Discussions are at the heart of how we interact in an online course. The discussion board interface is pretty simple. You'll see the basic initial discussion question from the professor here. To respond directly to that question for your first response, just click Reply right underneath it and Post. And your reply will be added to the list of replies below. To respond to a classmate, go to their initial response to the question and then click reply in the stack of replies to that classmate. And you'll see the replies to individual classmates stack beneath them in the manner similar to Facebook where all comments in response to a comment stack up like a box. So your first response to the question goes here, reply, and your replies to your classmate go beneath that classmate. When a video post is assigned, you'll click reply, but instead of typing text, you'll look for this icon here, the video film strip icon that says record upload media. Click here and record your video comment directly into this box, or record it outside of Canvas first and then click Upload to submit it. To submit a writing assignment, your assignment details here may say Submitting a File Upload. To do that, you go over to the right and click Submit Assignment. When you do that, you'll get an interface like this. If you've written your paper in a word processor, click Choose File, find that file where you've saved it, and it will upload into this box. You can click Submit, and your response area here will show that you've turned it in, the time that you've turned it in, and you can also click to get an interface that shows you the file you've turned in, and any responses that you've received from your professor will show up here as well.
There are various ways to keep track of assignments you need to submit. One is in course modules where the due date displays to the right of the item in the module. Another is by clicking assignments which shows you all the assignments for the course. You can also go to your assignments tab up here and this will show you all assignments for all courses as well as assignments here that have deadlines that are approaching. Finally, you can keep track of assignments and all other course activities through your calendar. And here on the day that it's due, you see a link to the item that you need to submit. You can also click Calendar Feed and copy and paste that feed into Google Calendar, your iPhone, or some other calendar. In addition to tracking the feedback you get from professors through the notifications you receive when they give you feedback, you can always click on Grades to see how you're doing in a course. This will list all the assignments, whether or not you've turned them in, and any grades and responses that you've received. You can also click on your Grades tab at the top here to view your grades for all your courses. Interacting with other people in your course is key to your success in distance learning. When you click on people, you'll get a roster of everyone in the course, including your teacher and all the fellow students. To contact another student or the professor, you just click on their name, and you'll see a little message bubble here. When you click on that, it will open a conversation interface, and you can type a message directly to that person. The conversation interface can be accessed at any time by clicking Inbox in the top menu bar of your screen. Here you'll get a stack of previous messages you've sent or received, and here's an interface for typing a new message. You can just start typing the name of the person, and you'll get an option to select who you want to talk to. You can also type the name of your course, and options will pop up, including everyone in the course, just the teacher or TA in the course, or fellow students, and you can select who you want to type your message to based on that drop-down menu. So that's a quick look at Canvas. Obviously there's more to discover, but those are the key checkpoints that you'll need to find as you work your way through your distance learning course.